my channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm just a girl who likes reading romance, fantasy romance, paranormal romance, any kind of genre of romance in general. And I also happen to have cerebral palsy and it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe to my channel. Happy Friday! Today's video is going to be underrated romance books that I think you should read. I got this video idea from watching Avery at Ava's Romance Books. She did a similar type of video recently, so I'll leave Ava's channel down below in the description. I also have a video talking about my cerebral palsy in the in the disability pride tag video. So if you want to know more about cerebral palsy, please go click that video in the description. I have five romance books that I'm going to recommend to you today. The first two books are part of a small town romance series. Willow Astor's Landmark Cove series. The first book is called Unforgettable. The heroine's family has this ski resort. It's owned by her grandfather and her grandmother, but her grandfather has died, so her siblings are going to to sell their ski resort and she's so depressed about it because that's all she knew that's where she grew up with her brother so she has this one night stand with a stranger and she thought she would never see him again because he wasn't from town so when she goes back home to meet the guy who's actually buying the resort from her family, she's surprised to see that the person she had a one night stand with is actually the person taking over her family's ski resort. So. It's an enemies to lovers romance, well, enemies on her part because she thinks slept with her on purpose. When, but when you get to his PV, POV, you realize it's just a coincidence. And even though he tries to involve her in the planning to get the resort to more people she tries to stay away from him like even though he goes out of his way to be nice to her he bonds with her family but he she thinks he has an ulterior motive but he doesn't. He's just a really genuinely nice guy. And it's her family that actually has to like wake her up. He's not he's not doing anything mean to you. We we sold him the resort because it's something we felt we needed to do. And we had no idea you were interested in taking over the resort. So, after she had a talk with her family, she like apologizes to the hero. And it's their romance. Book two is called Someday. It's the second book in Willa Astor's Landmark Cove series. It's a second chance romance with Theo, who's the heroine's older brother 
from book one. So you have to read the series in order. Theo had a high school sweetheart and they, they went to preschool, middle school and high school together. They had their lives all planned out. They were gonna get married, have children, but one day when senior year of high school, she just vanishes and Theo is left heartbroken. He tries to search for her, but he he can't find her. He even asked the people in town where she went, but the townspeople have no idea where she could have gone. And she comes back to town after her dad passes away and her horse is very sick and Theo is the veterinarian in town so they are, they are forced in proximity together and it was just a sweet second chance romance the reason why she left is so heartbreaking but and yet understandable why she left but Theo has to get over his fears about being left behind again so please I please check your trigger warnings because it is the stuff that Hammerman went through is very horrible but I loved it I love this series and the second book in Landmark Cove. Please, if you're looking for a small town romance series, please check Landmark Cove out. I love the first two books in the series and I wish more people would read it. Someday, Someday by Emma Scott. I know when people think of Emma Scott, they usually think of the full tale duet but someday someday is also one of my favorites from Emma Scott it's an MM romance it's so angsty and the hero in someday someday he's a rich billionaire and he's start to take over his father's company but his father became very ill so he has to hire someone to take care of him and he hires a male nurse and the, the, they are hero and the nurse are slowly um building a friendship they are slowly developing feelings for each other and the male the male nurse is openly gay like he likes guys and the the billionaire hero he's in the closet he doesn't want anyone to know that he likes guys so he actually pretends to fake date someone He's, he really has feelings for the caretaker, but he doesn't want to come out to everyone, especially because it will ruin his chances of being his father's successor. I'm going to say, I'm not going to tell you how it works out because that will spoil the whole story, but this is the most angsty MM romance I have ever read and it is so so good if you like a billionaire romance and MM please consider reading Someday by Emma Scott. The next two books are from the same author and it is Megan Quinn. I'm gonna recommend is the virgin romance novelist but 
the heroine wants wants to be a romance novelist and the hero who's one of her best friends says she has no dating experience so how can she be a romance novelist and the hero is one of her best friends and she has another girl best friend so he asked the hero to coach her on dating so she she would have some experience writing her novel so he agrees to like coach her on how to date but as they they spend time together you realize that the hero has always had feelings for the heroine the heroine just can't see it so it's a friends to lovers romance secret pining because the the, the heroine is oblivious to the hero's feelings this is also this also has a book two in that duet so i read book two also and book two of course is the continuation of the virgin romance novelist so you have to read book one in order to read book two but i cannot say anything about book two because it will spoil book one so please if you're looking for french to lovers secret pining please try this one by megan quinn it's also by megan quinn and it is a small town romance series following brothers uh, from Maine or, no these brothers go to New Orleans for I think Mardi, Mardi Gras and they come in and they meet this fortune teller who tells them that each of them are going to be so unlucky in love that's why the series is called getting getting lucky because it's about the brothers trying to find love even though this fortune teller tells them that they are cursed and the first book is called the second chance and we have the first brother who is a firefighter and he gets his romance with the heroine who moves from California to Maine as an algebra teacher and she is so accident prone and every time the heroine is in trouble she has to call the firefighters to bail her out of it and lo and behold the firefighter who always gets assigned to help her is the hero so i love this small town romance and i think it's very underrated so if you haven't tried megan quinn yet and you're looking for a small town romance i really suggest the getting the getting lucky series those are all my recommendations for today please let me know down in the comments below what are you what do you think are underrated romance books that I need to read? I would love to know. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. That would mean the world to me. Bye. I'll see you Monday.